hey welcome back to the lecture so in this lecture let's um, explore about what exactly is this node now the node arrangement will be like this so you have a microcontroller right so this is a microcontroller and in the microcontroller what you have is a can controller isn't it or can peripheral can controller and this can controller gives you two single ended pins so these are actually digital pins in order to communicate now the one is called as can tx so can tx and another one is called can rx this is for the reception of the data and this is to transmit the data okay so these are actually digital pins and we also call this as single ended pins now according to the can specification so you cannot use these digital signals in order to communicate with another node okay so that is not allowed so the specification of the can protocol has dedicated sections where it explains about the, the physical medium used for the communication so in can these digital signals are not used in order to communicate with another node instead of that we use something called differential signals but your microcontroller will not produce differential signals the differential signals are used in order to communicate with another node that's because these digital signals are good for very short range communication uh, but since as I said can is introduced for automobiles where you have to cover larger distances like 1 meter 2 meter 3 meter or even some of the automation industry 40 meters etc in those cases you just can't use these digital signals or voltage levels in order to send data or receive data okay the differential signals give more immunity to the noise and uh, data can be transmitted more reliably so that's why there is a need to convert the single ended signals to differential signals and I will talk more about those differential signals in the next video don't worry about that and in order to achieve that differential signals you need a transceiver a CAN transceiver okay so that's why a CAN transceiver used after this CAN transceiver what it does is it actually takes single ended signals and convert into differential signals so that we call as CAN H and another one is CAN L so CAN high and CAN low and this is what we call as a node okay so this is a node so a can bus will be having basically two lines okay can h line and can l line and both lines are terminated by a termination register so that we call as rl and uh, we'll see more about that later so if you want to attach your node to the bus you just have to connect can h terminal of your node to the can h line of the bus and can l terminal of your node to the can l line of the bus great so that's about a node so that's how a node looks like so you have a microcontroller and a microcontroller should be having can peripheral or we also call it as can controller and can controller gives you two pins okay one is can tx and another one is can rx so this is also called as single ended pins and with this single ended pins you cannot able to communicate and we have to convert these single ended pins to differential signals okay and for that purpose we have to use can transceiver and can transceiver gives you two outputs one is can h and another one is can l those are differential signals and that you have to connect to the bus remember that this can transceiver may not be available on your development board or microcontroller for example if you are using nuclear discovery board from st then you have to buy this transceiver separately remember so on the board these transceivers are not available 
Now, but if you go to the evaluation board of ST, which is more costlier than uh, Nucleo or Discovery Board, in that evaluation board, the CAN transceiver may be available. So you have to check that. I think it should be available, okay? But none of the Discovery or Nucleo boards, they come with can transceiver okay so in order to uh, complete the uh, exercises properly you need a can transceiver and can transceivers are very low cost these are very cheap devices okay great that's how a bus with multiple nodes look like and at the end of the day you have to communicate over can h and can signals those are differential signals and we are going to understand more about these differential signals in the next lecture. So in the next lecture we will understand what exactly is this differential signal and and based on that we are going to discuss some of the most uh, frequently used terminologies in CAN such as recessive state and the dominant state of a bus. Great. So I'll see you in the next lecture.